Hey everyone, welcome to another video review. This is Transformers Legacy Wreck and Rule Collection Autobot Springer. Yes, the second release of the Wreck, yeah, this particular uh, set. We'll go ahead and uh, put him off to the side real quick and look at the box. And the other, you can see Springer there, transformed from helicopter to robot mode and more of the mur mural, which we'll see more of as, you know, as when we get to the final thing. I'm gonna, not going to show it all coming together until the final thing. So uh, yeah, just be aware of that. And up here, you got the Wreck and Rule. Stuff right there. You got the one part of the line white artwork there. And you got the other half on this side. On the bottom, you have, of course, copyrights and warnings. And on the back, you have some product shots and warnings in there, too. Including the fact, yes, he is once again a triple changer. He also comes with instructions, which, you know, it's the same Springer as from Siege. So, you know, if you're familiar with that, you're familiar with this. But they're pretty good overall. And another piece of the hammer. Right there, yeah. Another piece there to uh, put together. Uh, Springer, this, uh, Wreck and Rule Springer here. So this, um, Deco here is actually heavily inspired by the original G1 toy Deco, which was, well, look like this. You can see here you got, well, of course, the big old, again, the very nice, uh, shine, metallic blue, uh, Wreckers logo instead of the usual Autobot. You see here, uh, he's pretty much green, green, green up here. Helmet green, but, you know, blue eyes. You got, you know, the grays. On the shoulders, you got that nice yellow there, the uh, chest. Get more green, shades of green down here and more gray and a little bit of gray, gray and the green on the venting there and you got all that stuff. You got, of course, the backpack, which has that thing on it, which I meant to pull off. But yeah, uh, you got all that stuff and he, you know, his bits fill out pretty well. So he's, you know, you can kind of hollowness, but it is filled with stuff, so there is that. And uh, yeah, he's also got a bunch of five millimeter ports all over him, so. There you go on that front. And of course, again, you comes with accessories, which is of course like this thing, which was is for the helicopter. You can just plug it in back there. That's what I like to do. Just kind of leave it back there. Just chill out. He's, enough, you can hear it's that same uh, problem the original mold did, which is the ankles can be a bit weak sometimes and uh, doesn't want to always stand up. He has two guns, which can plug together. All right, you know, you can hold those if you want. I like to, for this one, I like to have them in the rifle. Formation, I guess. And of course he has uh, two swords casting in dark gray plastic, which nicely because of the way these are packed compared to the Siege version, uh, they're not bent. They're straight, which uh, makes me quite happy that, you know, they're not all bent up anymore. And of course these can also store. Again, the guns can store back here in the peg holes or you can you know, store these you know, by tabbing. They tab in a lot more solid than the original version did. That's for sure. That's real nice. So, uh, you know, again, the same accessories and everything, and they all tab in, you know, pretty solid. This peg in, there's, you know, it's all pretty secure, all things considered. Uh, and he looks really nice. And also, they still have the, uh, I guess, the uh, blast effect uh, posts and stuff for all that, all that stuff. Uh, articulation, though, his head is on a ball joint, so you got left and right and up and down and a bit of, bit of wiggle there. Shoulders can do a, well, theoretically do a full 360, although stuff kind of gets in the way. Outward, you got that far. You do have a bicep swivel, nice and tight. Elbows can do, I believe, more than the full, a little bit more than 90, but not a whole lot more. Yeah, you got that. They're limited by the fact that the shoulders kind of get in the way, but they uh, do curl more. You got a uh, wrist swivel there. You do have a uh, waist swivel there. Got hips, which uh, go forward that far, and back that far, and outward that far. You got a thigh swivel. Knees could do a pretty good curl there. And then if you really want to, you can, I guess, do that. But that kind of looks weird, but you can. And ankles, you got forward and back. You got a lot of tilt. <laughs> so yeah, again, pretty darn good articulation. There's a couple things though I have to get into and I will get into as we transform it. But first, I can get a stand. Here he is with the uh, Siege Springer. Which, yeah, uh, honestly, I think overall, I think I still prefer the Siege Springer, but I wish the Siege Springer had a different color for like his legs. I think, I wish those were like a more of a dark gray instead of a, that, but this is not a bad looking deco either, you know? So if you miss this guy, uh, you might want to consider picking this one up, but again, I'll get into that stuff. Yeah, just uh, so you can see that. And of course, here he is with uh, the other Wreck and Rule so far, uh, Twin Twist. So 
There you go. Yeah. Transformation is uh, not too bad. Well, at least it shouldn't be, but unfortunately there are some issues. So yeah, go ahead and take all the accessories off if you haven't already. Now, back here, you want to go ahead and take this backpack and just kind of extend it out like that. At the shoulders here, you want to go ahead and unfurl this and then bring this down and just peg that into the hand because we're going into uh, car mode first. Open this up and extend that out and then rotate this down so then you can peg in the hand like so. And then right here, you want to go ahead and bring this forward so you can bring these out like this. I'd like to go ahead and rotate the uh, head around and then go ahead and bring this up. And when you're doing so, you also want to bring these down. And hopefully on this one, they will not pop out on you because on mine, they constantly pop out. You can bring this up and forward and use this hinge to, use that hinge there to bring this up and underneath the cockpit like that. And here's for the other problem thing. This thing, you have to move this forward right here. This, this double hinge, you have to move this forward, but this is a really tight hinge and the waist piece likes to come off. So hopefully I can do this without coming off, but we'll see. Yep, there it goes. Yeah, pop that forward and this, the waist likes to pop off real easily. I mean, it's really easy to pop it back on, but it's just really frustrating that happens at all, you know? So yeah, just make sure to clip it all the way forward. There's a nice solid click there. So unfortunately, that's a thing that happens. It's, again, it's really easy to fix, but it's really frustrating. So uh, then go ahead and bring these forward like so, so that these are all the way forward. And this this tab right here will go up into this slot right here. And this tab right here will go into this slot right here when it's all uh, in for uh, car mode like that. You want it looking like that. Same thing on this side. Again, hope that these, these green pieces down here don't pop themselves out because I've been having a lot of bad luck with that. All right, there you go. Get those four dealt with. Now down here at the legs, what you want to do is open up the side here, pull the fin out, and then close this back up like that. Go and take the feet and move them forward like this. And then same thing on this side, open this up, rotate the tail fin thing out, close it back up, put the feet forward like that. Go ahead and tab these together and then rotate this around and these feet will slot in right under this. There's a little indents right in there. You might have to bend the hips forward a bit just so you can have clearance and then should be able to slide in underneath all this stuff. Make sure it's all lined up. Again, make sure it's all tabbed together. And then bring this down and there's these tabs there's four tabs underneath, which will go into these slots and these slots right here. And make sure to give it a good solid squeeze. And that's not, there we go. That wasn't in all the way, apparently. And there we go. So there is his vehicle mode or car mode. Yep, it's the car, right? And the thing is about this car, the problem is I feel like when you put it from robot to this mode, the problem is you just got like tons of gray just all sitting next to each other. So it kind of winds up being a little weirdly bland, particularly in the back end here. The front end is still not so bad. I mean, it's still the green and yellow and you got the nice uh, prominent wrecker symbol, but it's still kind of, yeah, just very bland in the back, honestly, because of the to see of gray. There's not really a lot. Um, there's nothing really breaking apart except this some darker grays here. So that's a little unfortunate. And again, as you saw, the waist here popping out really easily because this joint's so hard is just a pain in the butt. Particularly, I've had multiple times where it just refuses. When going back to robot mode, I can the waist keeps popping off so I can't get a good grip on this part to pop it out. So be careful with that. Next thing is you do have that nice uh, translucent uh, blue uh, cockpit there, which looks real nice though. And you got some uh, nice molded detail and whatnot. And of course, rolls pretty decently too, although this, this wheel has a lot of friction, unfortunately, but it does still roll. That's the thing. And of course you can take his accessories here. And yeah, you have the rifle, you can take the swords and uh, tab them on the size of the rifle here. And then plug this into this gun, this piece, and then plug it on here. And I guess you have 
the attack mode, which, yeah, freely spins like this. But at least this and this one, well, at least in this one, if I can uh, not be a klutz, the swords are straight, sit straight rather than uh, all wobbly. And also personally, again, it's like if you don't want that spinning, you just uh, not plug that part in. And there you go, it's uh, no longer spinning. So, yep, that's a thing right there. And of course, real quick comparison. Again, here he is with his uh, Siege version, which again, this there's you know color breakup. You see you got the dark greens and yellows and blues and a lot of the battle damage breaks it up versus just gray. So uh, yeah, I definitely, this is where I, but this, well, this is like largely see a green here, but again, the battle damage and the yellow and stuff break that up too. So um, that's also, there's no thing, I just realized that, but that this is a darker blue than this one. This is a lighter shade of blue, so that's interesting. But yeah, you know, there's the uh, car modes, which I still think are probably some of the best car modes I've ever seen for any Springer's, this Siege version, on this version only enough. Even though the Masterpiece ones really have a particularly great car mode, so this is nice. But yeah, um, there's that comparison. And uh, here he is with the, of uh, course, Twin Twist. The vehicle mode. Let's see that. There you go. Of course, he's triple changer, so he's got one final mode, and that is the helicopter mode, which, again, is well pretty serviceable for over from here. So what you're good to go ahead and do is take this and untab that and move that up like that. You want to take these pieces and uh, get them out of the way of here and rotate this back. And you want to separate these. They can latch together pretty nicely. And you want to separate these, and you want to take these, and then you want to take the feet and move them outward like this and like that. Move them down and out like uh, that. And then this piece, you want to go ahead and rotate here in this piece, and then this part will extend. You want to extend this piece too. And then here, right here, this this hip right here, you want to bring that down and rotate here at the thigh like this. And then bring that forward like that. That's, yeah, that's how it is. I always forget the direction. It's like eventually I'll get it. Yeah. The other thing is I also mentioned on this on mine, this particular one is really loose. This this hip this joint just doesn't tab in at all. It's supposed to tab in up here, but it does not on mine. So that's one that one doesn't work as well. This one works just fine. I've heard some people have both of them just flop around, so that sucks. Yeah, you go ahead and rotate right here 180 like that. And then you bring this back, you bring this forward like that. Bring this forward like so. This, bring it together, tab this all together. Like this, bring that there, bring that there, bring this all this together. Like this. Up here, you want to go ahead and take the these pieces and you want to slide them backwards and make sure those are all the way back so that this can, uh, this right here is going to tab into a thing on the arm. But yeah, before you do that, of course, you're going to undo this, bring this down. Bring this out, slide that out, rotate that around, and then bring this back up and pick that back in like that. And this opens up, opens up this tab right, this slot right here for this tab. So if you did it all right, it should line up and uh, tab in. Like that. Same thing on this side, untab this. Pick the hand, bring this down, rotate this out, slide this out, rotate it around, bring this back up and peg that into the hand again. Then take this whole assembly and bring it back. And then this will all tab in together, like so. There you go, there's that all done. And then you bring this back and this will tab in now these these inner tabs are going to these slots and these outer tabs are going to these slots. Again, give it a good squeeze because otherwise it doesn't like to go all the way down. And then this stuff, you want to go ahead and uh, take the swords off. Let's take the gun, split them. Uh, this gun just can peg in like this, no problem. Got a good squeeze. And then this gun, you have to bring that down so uh, you can... Because that's got the tabs on it, so you got to peg this in and then bring this up, and this will sit with that. And the tab will sit in this little channel right there. You can do it either side, but yeah, it doesn't really that doesn't really matter. So, then you of course take the propeller, 
bit and then attach the swords inside. Like so, and then you plug this in and uh, get a good spin for luck. And there you go. You have Springer in his helicopter mode. Yep, uh, here he is with uh, Sieges Springer. Again, again, lots of gray. That's one thing, again, lots of gray. There's a little bit of pick uh, break up there at the crack, but yeah, this one I feel, there's a lot of green here, but I don't know. I think green is more visually an interesting color than gray, so I think that's what helps here. But yeah, um, oh, that's the other thing. You can see this. This this side likes to pop out really easily, the, the, the right side of the figure for whatever reason the arm just in this mode likes it really doesn't like to sit properly i don't know if there's like mold flash in there or what but kind of annoying that so yeah it doesn't take much to pop that out but um yeah you can see the color differences there and of course still can roll both of them in this mode too so uh yep that's the thing and again here he is with uh twin twist although you probably don't even see that but yeah it's, you know just a first you know, just for the sake of it. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, Wreck and Rule Springer. I like the deco. I always like the mold, but unfortunately this one, apparently I've heard this very, all, almost all the issues I have are very common. Just the waist likes to pop off, which, you know, when transforming it, can be a pain in the butt. You know, transforming, yeah, because it can be a pain in the butt because the, the, the waist will pop off and it's really hard to get anything moving. On mine, the right arm also doesn't like to stay tabbed in helicopter mode. Uh, just little things like that. One of the hip pieces don't like to stay on mine. Apparently, most people, have, a lot of people have a problem with both hip pieces. Hips don't like to stay tabbed in for robot mode. And just uh, little things like that because it's weird because a lot of other stuff, like a lot of other stuff feels like it's much tighter. Like the knees and the legs and stuff tend to be, you'll feel overall much tighter. And stuff feels, you know, a lot of it feels like it goes together better. But a lot of it also just... It just is frustrating because all these these little like a couple little problems almost ruin the whole thing. If it wasn't for those, it would be an absolute easy recommendation. But as it is, because of those little problems, I can't really recommend it because apparently they are very very common problems. So I can't recommend it because of that. If it wasn't for those, it, you but yeah. If you feel comfortable trying to fix those, then sure. But if if those problems you saw um, upset you enough to yeah, I would not. I would not uh, pick up this one up. I would actually just say go ahead and unless you really want to have that complete hammer or whatever, I recommend just picking trying kind of find the hope hoping you can find the seed springer for a decent price because this is not a particularly uh, good use of the mold. Unfortunately, it just has just a few too many issues, which is unfortunate because again, it's a really good mold. It just unfortunately this one isn't very good, so I could I would just recommend skipping it. So uh, that's it for this uh, video. I hope you found it informative and entertaining. I hope you like and subscribe. Uh, check out my Twitter. I'm at Nemesis Prime 1. Check out my coffee and my Patreon. And I'll see you next time with another video review.